With only six months left until the 2023 NFL Draft, it's no surprise that the hype has just started getting real. In the wake of it all, Jim Nagy, the executive director, has put out a list of the best prospects this time, including over 400 players. Today, we're ranking the top players heading into Week 9 based on their performance in the first half of the college football season. Let's get into it. Starting at number 18, Zach Pickens. Pickens has a unique blend of muscularity and agility. The cornerstone of the Gamecocks defense delivers a powerful punch off the snap. Pickens works through or spins off blocks to pressure quarterbacks and plays the run with square shoulders. The big guy will regularly leave the box to chase down ball carriers. Even though South Carolina suffered a terrible defeat 38-6 against Gators, the former five-star recruit would still be a great addition to any team looking to strengthen their defense. Moving on to number 17, Derek Hall. Despite the team's struggles, Hall has been outstanding for Auburn, leading the team with four sacks and seven tackles for loss. Hall can dis- discipline his rush to stop quarterback scrambles, and he has a strong long arm move to collapse the pocket. Hall's hustle is always on display, whether it's a sideline chase or a rush downfield to stop a big play. With a big clash against the Crimson Tide on the way, Hall has another chance to showcase how good he is. At number 16, Jammy Robinson. Robinson is a gem for the Seminoles in the secondary, and he's relied on frequently to play deep and make safe second-level tackles on ball carriers. He does a good job of covering them and is effective when asked to blitz the quarterback, even though he sacrifices size against tight ends and slot receivers when he lines up in the box. In the coming clash against the Gators, offensive coordinators in the NFL would love to see Robinson pick off quarterback Anthony Richardson. Number 15 on this list is Matthew Berger. Bergeron. This senior left tackle has been a key piece in the offensive revival at Syracuse. Bergeron is a great pass protector because of his strong base, quickness, and skilled hands. The Canadian shows off his athleticism and aggression in the run game by crashing the edge, pulling around the right tackle, and staying with moving targets for as long as necessary. Even though the team is struggling, losing three games in a row, it's still a delight to see Bergeron play. Next at number 14, Hendon Hooker. With his feet on the fire and a precise laser at his primary target, Hooker has been outstanding this year. Alabama witnessed how accurate he can be in all areas of the field when there is no pass rush and the defense can't change to cover the different routes the volunteers run. If opponents aren't on their guard, the super senior is easily capable of tough long-distance sprints. Hooker performed outstandingly when the volunteers faced their rival, Bulldog, but they lost the match. Moving to number 13, Mecky Garner. Given his size, strength, and speed, Garner would have fit in perfectly with the Seattle Seahawks, Legion of Boom defense back when it was at its peak. Despite his small size, the former Louisiana Ragin' Cajun is fluid hips that allow him to stay with downfield receivers, forcing quarterbacks to check down or take off from the pocket. With the Tigers' recent victory over the Crimson Tide, Garnet has become a more compelling prospect for teams in the NFL. Now on to number 12, Henry To'o To'o. Henry has been great this year, even though he overran some plays and missed a couple of open field tackles against his old teammates in Tennessee when his team lost. He runs through traffic to find running backs in the run game, attacks throw to the outside, and blitzes to get defensive linemen out of the way. If his showcase of skills in the first half of college football isn't enough to convince you, Henry is also a semi-finalist for the Butkus Award. At number 11 is Tyler Davis. Davis missed a few weeks due to injury, but he has been a constant pain for the offensive lines ever since he came back. Even though he isn't the biggest interior defensive lineman, he works hard to get the ball, whether in the backfield or near the hashes. He plays with leverage against double teams at the one technique and uses swim and rip moves to win gaps at the three tech. There is no doubt that NFL teams will keep an eye out for him. Now on to number 10, Andrew Voorhees. The sixth-year Trojan starter has played both guard and tackle positions. In his first year starting at left guard for USC, he has distinguished himself as a reliable pass protector and and powerful run blocker who can force defensive tackles out of the hole. However, Voorhees is more than just a mauler. He can also hit second-level targets effectively when he moves behind the line. When Notre Dame flies to LA, D tackles cross three, and Jason will be looking to test Voorhees' ability. At number nine, Cody Mock. 
Mock took center stage on the Bison offensive line after Cordell Volson moved to the Bengals as a rookie to start the season on the sidelines. He has been phenomenal in the run game, blocking inside defenders and attacking the corners and linebackers by leaping out of his stance. As a result of his strong and balanced edge play, pass plays against FCS defenses are rarely successful, making him a strong prospect for the NFL. On number 8, Nolan Smith. Halfway through the season, Smith leads the stingy Bulldogs defense with six tackles for loss and three sacks. His explosive speed and violent hands help him get around the corner and his contact strength can put opposing linemen on skates. Smith's quickness, toughness against linemen blocks, and diagnostic skills make him a valuable contributor off the ball as well. He's one of the guys many would like to see in the NFL. At number 7, Dewan Jones. Jones's huge frame and extra long arms had always made him stand out when he stepped off the bus. This right tackle has great length and a powerful grip, making it difficult for defensive and blockers to get by him on run plays. Jones is surprisingly agile for his size, which lets him pull in lead against linebackers and safeties. With a clash against Michigan next, Jones could impress NFL scouts even more. Moving to number 6, Andre Carter II. The fact that opponents are more prepared for Carter's presence may be one reason he has only recorded 2.5 sacks through the first five games this season. He's gotten stronger at the point of attack, looked quick in coverage, and showed great lateral agility when rushing the passer. Carter has embodied the Army's motto, This Wheel Defend and looks to be the first NFL Army draft since 1947. Number 5 is Osiris Torrance. The Louisiana transfer had been doing well in his first year in the SEC until he missed the LSU game with a lower body injury. He's been strong right off the snap and bullied defenders out of the way of the run. Even though Torrance is big, he is surprisingly agile and able to recover and change quickly when there are threats. Put Torrance in the lineup and you will surely have a showdown. At number 4, Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers has performed similarly to his sophomore year this fall. He's been winning battles at the line of scrimmage with his speed and posing a threat to opposing defenses after catching crossers and short passes. Despite his small size, he can make plays downfield thanks to his body awareness and supple hands. Flowers can also easily adjust to faraway passes, no wonder he's one of the hottest NFL prospects. On number 3, Jalen Duncan. Duncan's athleticism was on full display in the first half of the season, whether it was his fluidity in pass protection or quickness in getting to his targets. The left tackle for Maryland is a tough opponent off the edge, especially when his motor is revving and he's playing with heavy hands. Duncan has also shown flashes of being a force in the run game. Let's hope he's just as explosive in the coming game. Now for number two, Tyree Wilson. Wilson has been great this season, as shown by the fact that his 6.5 sacks and 9.5 tackles for loss put him in the top 10 in the country. From the five technique position, he has the power to bend or overpower his opponent, attack the quarterback, and track plays to the flat. This shows that Wilson is strong enough to play in the NFL, which might happen next year. On to the number one prospect, Will Levi's. So far this season, Levi's play hasn't taken anyone by surprise. His deep balls and darts into small openings are proof of his arm strength, but he's also shown a deft touch on shorter throws and over the top when called for. He has shown that he is tough by running, getting over a foot injury, and taking hits after after throwing. The face-off against the Bulldogs will be the biggest challenge for Levi's as he faces the defensive champs. That's a wrap for this list and this video. Did you enjoy our list? Who are your top 20 NFL prospects? Let us know in the comments below. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.